Welcome to Tesla Bytes, where we serve you GIS in small bytes. Today we'll be covering ArcGIS Pro, using Python and Field Calculator's code block to average across field values. Let's get started. I have a pivot table here that I've created using some census data for Harris County, Texas. If you're interested in how we developed this pivot table, please check the description below for the video. Back to the table, you can see we have seven block groups. And of those seven block groups, not every block group has a value, noted by the null values. What I'd like to do is find the average of each of these block groups. There are some geoprocessing tools that can find the average within a single field, but what we're looking for is across multiple fields. So we'll be using Field Calculator, more specifically, the code block. Since you will be using Python, you'll want to adjust your fields to make things easier when writing your expression. Notice that I've reduced block group 1 to just BG1. These small things can make a load of difference when you're working across many fields. To bring up the code block, we can easily right-click Tract Mean and select Calculate Field. Here you'll see the Geoprocessing tab pull up. I've already created a field in my pivot table, and I've named it Tract Mean. I'm setting my expression to Python, and below is where I'm going to set my expression, as well as define my expression in the code block. I'm creating a variable within my expression, and I'm calling it mean. Here you can see that I've added all of my seven block groups, and they're separated with a comma. You could either hand type or double click, and it'll drop it in there for you. Next, I'll be pasting in my code block. You'll see here that I'm defining my mean by listing out which fields I'll be including. Also notice the syntax change. There are no exclamation marks in my list of the fields. Below that, I've defined a list, and that list is going to contain all seven of those block groups. But remember, these do have null values, so I'm going to make an edited or a new list that's going to be looking for my null values and excluding them. So I'm using here a for loop. And within my loop, you'll notice that I have an if statement. Exclamation equals none is going to help me exclude null values. And the myList.append is essentially saying that my new list is only going to contain those values that don't have a null. Then I'm going to use my return statement. I'll be summarizing my list and then dividing it by the number of values that didn't have nulls using the len expression. Now we'll validate and select Run. Let's take a look at those results, as well as a little spot checking. You'll see here, I have three values that did not have nulls, and I have their average here. The value of 22 is the average between the three values sum of 66. Same goes for row 5, where I have two zero values and two values in the 40 range. Notice that among the four, I have 21. And in areas where I have a zero value and the rest are null, I see a zero. However, if you forgot to toggle the undo and you need to redo or recalculate, I'll show you a neat trick. Go to calculate field and then type in none. Select run. Notice now that my entire field has been returned to nulls. So let's recap. We prepared our pivot table and then created and defined our expression. Once we validated our code block, we then selected run, followed by some spot checking. I think this is a great stopping point. This has been Tesselbytes, where we serve you GIS in small bytes. Thank you for watching and please be sure to visit us at www.tessellations.us. Also, subscribe and ring that button.